We are back here on 102.5 The Game. Our Predator Player Show continues here from Dave & Buster's at Opry Mills. Great crowd on hand tonight. Of course, our show presented by Fifth Third Bank. Also, we want to let you know about something going on. Now, I got a nice, Darren, a tin of cookies from Christy Cookies. You know, the gang brought it out here. Oh, thanks for rubbing that in. But no, here's what I was going to do. I was going to share with everybody. But oh, okay. while I was uh, looking the other way, Alan, our, our producer, he grabbed the tin. He's already opened it up. He he, he's, it. he's dug in there. Wow. So I'm a little concerned so, that uh, they may be gone by the time the show's over. So it's no longer your tin is what you're saying. It's, I was going to share with the group, but I was, you know, was going to get first dibs. Now I'm concerned that it'll be empty. It'll just be tin by the time the show's so, over. Okay. Well, I appreciate you thinking of everybody else. Alan, on the other hand, I cannot say that. It sounds like he is very greedy with the cookies <laughs> as he runs away. Yes. Now, by the way, Chrissy Cookies has the All Arena cookie giveaway going on April the 9th against St. Louis. All fans in attendance are going to receive a free cookie courtesy of the Christy Cookie Company. Each fan also receives a voucher for 20% off a keepsake Preds cookie tin when you go to ChristyCookies.com and you use the offer code PREDS. So also this Friday, April the 5th, only receive 20% off of Christy Cookies keepsake Predator cookie tins when you head to ChristyCookies.com and you use the offer code Preds. Let me, th- let me throw a couple other things out there. Willie, uh, everybody's heard of Make-A-Wish, right? Great yes. program. It's awesome. If you come to Dave and & Buster's and you say you want to donate to that, they'll uh, give you a coupon for free $5 to play games in their room. By the way, it's half off games all day today at Dave & Buster's, or they will give you a free appetizer. So ask your server for details on Make-A-Wish. Also, if you're into free music... They have that here at Dave & Buster's. Next Thursday, April the 11th, Chuck Wicks will have a free concert at 7.30. And if you, I believe this guy was on American Idol, I'm pretty sure. Saturday, April the 13th at 4 o'clock, free concert, Scotty McCreary, right? He was on American Idol. Is that true? Why are you looking at me? I I, I don't know. I think I see a couple yeses. He was. Okay. So Saturday, April 13th (laughs) at 4 o'clock, free concert. Scotty McCreary here at Dave & Buster's. Before we go out there, I know you guys had to have seen the Mike Rice, the Rutgers coach video by, by now, right? It's been on a loop for 24 hours. Yeah, I've seen it. So what did you think? Initial thoughts. <laughs> um, interesting. <laughs> Coaching style. I've never had a coach uh, boot me in my behind before. No. But, that would uh, hurt with skates. You yeah, know? it would. It would, actually. Um, it, I mean, you don't like to see that young kids coming in. You know, they probably, probably didn't want to say anything because they were scared because, you know, they've been recruited to, to play in the NCAA basketball and, um, you know, have dreams, and they didn't want to, you know, step on any toes, which is, which is kind of sad. But um, I don't know. It would be tough for me to stand by and watch your teammates, you know, go through stuff like that and yourself. Um, I'm glad I came out now because you don't want to see anybody else affected like that. Yeah, he was let go this morning. So neither one of you have had a coach throw pucks at you or anything? No, no. I've had them uh, get in my face a little bit and, you know. Have you ever been intimidated by a coach? Oh, yeah. I mean, all the time. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you're growing up, you're 16, 17, 18-year-old kid, and, you know, you get a little swagger going or something, and they just put you in your place. Nothing bad. But you never had him cross, cross no, the line? No, no, no. Never crossed the line. Uh you know, sometimes you need that. Just you have to do it in the proper way. I think. You know, you need to be a swift kick in the in the <laughs> rear, but not literally, right? Yeah, exactly. Taylor, have you have you had pretty tough disciplinarian coaches at times uh, while you were growing up? Yeah, uh, I think it's good to have a little bit of uh, discipline, especially with your coaches. Like Kleiner said, when you're younger, you need uh, you need someone to put you in your place a little bit, and uh, never cross the line with any of the coaches but a uh, little arguing here and there but that's as far as it goes it, it was pretty pretty disturbing to see that pattern of yeah. behavior it, yeah wasn't it I yeah mean, yeah for sure it was not an isolated event that had been going on for a while yeah i mean all those clips were over time yeah i couldn't i couldn't believe that that uh no one not one player said anything really well they had players transfer they oh, but okay. they never came forth at least publicly with why they were transferring. Yeah. Now you wonder, now that this has all happened, if you're going to have some guys that transferred out of the program start 
speaking publicly. I, I couldn't believe uh, whoever was in charge of that. The first place only gave him three games and yeah. <laughs> never really told anybody. And and he had the same video that we just saw. That's Well, they may lose their job, too. They should, really. <laughs> they're, they're in trouble. All right, let's get some questions from the audience for these guys. And uh, let's start up right, right here with our first guy with the number eight jersey. You like I that, like Kevin? To, I like to see. There, there's there not too go. many of those. Those are rare. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Kevin, now that E-Rat's gone, there's an A available. Any chance we might see the A on your jersey tomorrow night? Because you're the one that deserves it. Oh, thanks. See? Wow. You pumped my tires. I like that. Uh, <laughs> who paid you? <laughs> Don't say me. <laughs> uh, probably not. Because uh, you've got uh, Leguan who's wearing it in uh, while well, Mike is out. So I'm, I'm sure Fish will get it. We've got some good, you know, lots of veteran presence and... Uh, you know, it, it'd be an honor, but uh, there's definitely guys that deserve it before me. <laughs> Thanks. Your fan club here, Kevin. I this like is good. <laughs> Did we ever come up with, we had some pretty good um, <laughs> T-shirt candidates. T- Taylor, last week, you know, we had the Rich Clune. We had a couple guys that have already made some Rich Clune T-shirts. Pretty good, huh, after the guy's been in the league for, this is his first year, yeah. 15 games or so, or however many games he's yeah. played, 20. He's got the T-shirt, so... We're looking for a Klein T-shirt. So, Weiner, Diner, Kleiner. That's what we had last week. Was one of the candidates. What, what do you think, Taylor? You're a Twitter guy. I mean, you, you, yeah, that, that sounds think good. That work? Yeah. Think we, could, we can work that market yeah, now? Oh, that'll work. That's bad. And, guys, how did that goal not get in last night? I know. That was unbelievable. I know. Kleiner, he, did you see me at the point celebrating? <laughs> yes. Uh, the puck came to me. I was on the left point. I was like, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I sort of kept going. I thought the puck was, oh. was going to stick to the to the oh, post. It seemed like it was suspended in midair for, for a while there. It's too bad. Rich deserved that. He's, he always worked so hard. And he loved to see him get, you know, get rewarded for that. And it was an interesting goal that you that you were involved with, uh, Taylor, the one that ties the game on the power play, because you know there's all those bodies and arms and legs going in there, <laughs> and only after about six views did I see Patrick Hornfist stick shovel it through there because your skate did sort of get swept through there. And it was almost an illusion. For a minute, I was like, uh-oh, we might, we might have a problem here. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was loose, and I think I was doing anything I could to get it in. I'm, I kicked at it a couple times, <laughs> but uh, I think Horny got the last touch in there, which he, is good. He definitely did. Yeah. Okay, now we've got Willie, this is our first here, I think. Our first question in the audience that's standing on a chair. Standing yeah, on a chair. I like awesome. this. What's your name, young man? Tyler Welch. Tyler, what's your question? Um... How do you feel about the playoff playoff chances? Uh, we feel good. We, we feel confident. Um, we've got an uphill battle. We've got to do a lot of things. We've got to definitely have to play better overall. But uh, I think with, with the team that we have, um, the goaltender that we have, I think we have a, a very good chance to, to make playoffs and go far in playoffs. So th- we just need to believe in ourselves right now. That's, that's the main thing and, and dedicate ourselves to the process. Hey, Taylor, how old are you? How old are you? No, how old are, how old are you? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm eight years old. You're eight years nice. old. What grade are you in? I'm second grade. Second grade. Nice. All right, have you ever been to a Predators game before? Yes. All right, so who's your favorite player? Um, pick a renaded player. Yeah, goaltender. he's a good, he's a good oh, player. Oh, okay. Mine See. too. Mine too. He saves me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, thanks for your question today. All Thank right. You. Thank you. We need to get him a Predator shirt. Yeah, yeah. let's work on that. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll work it. <laughs> All right, let's get our next question. Well, uh, um, my, my uh, first question was taken by the first person, and then <laughs> Willie asked Taylor about, Tyler about my second question. So, uh, you got to go deep. you got to dig deep. I know, deep. I know, I know. So my, my, third, my third question, and now that I've made that big introduction, I forgot what it was. Um, <laughs> I think if, uh, for Kevin, I guess I'll ask him, uh, since he just sort of brought it up, about Pekka saving his, his bacon a lot. But can you talk about the third times where you've saved his bacon and you, you've made the goal line, the saves off the goal line, how that sort of, how that play kind of developed and how do you manage to sort of not run over the goalie in, in, in that situ- kind of situation? Um, it's one of those things where, um, you know, Pekka will make the first and second save, mo- uh, you know, all the time pretty much. So um, anytime you see him out of position, you try and recover for him because, you know, as I said, he, he saves my bacon a lot. And uh, any t- any time that you can take take a goal away from them, and he looks back at you, gives you that Pekka smile where he just kind of like thanks thanks <laughs> Kleiner. Uh, that's always nice because most of the time I'm uh, I'm apologizing to him, <laughs> so it's uh, it's nice to support him in any way. 
Does, does he ever? Because he's such a mild mannered guy. It's, it's amazing. Oh, he gets fired up. Does he get pretty oh, fired? Because yeah. every now and then you can see it. He doesn't show it very often, but there are times where you can tell. Well, we're, we're he's a competitor. Yeah, and we're, we've we've kind of grown through the process together. We we've, we've been roommates in Milwaukee, and um, we're such good buddies that when you let him down, and he gives you that death stare. You're like, oh man, you like, feel awful, right? Yeah, you're like. <laughs> I just steal your firstborn child or what? <laughs> it's just like something that you just, you feel so disappointed. And then he kind of realizes it, that you feel so bad, and then he feels bad. <laughs> so he, he's just such a nice guy and a good person. Um, but he's definitely, he's intense out there. Don't, don't kid yourself. Yeah, he hides it well. Oh, All right, yeah, thanks for your question. All right, let's keep it rolling here. we got our next question here. Hi, I'm Jill. Kevin, you seem to be a really even-keeled guy, both on and off the ice, yet you take some pretty big hits from the other teams. What does it take to get you to drop the gloves and go toe-to-toe? I went, I went once this year when I got hit from behind, but uh, um, it's one of those things where you, you don't like to put your team in a certain situation when you're re- relied on so much. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a main penalty killer, and you don't want to do anything to hurt the team. Um, most of the time when I fight, it's usually... a it's for sticking up for a teammate, <laughs> not so much myself. I can take the abuse, but, um, you know, hitting's part of the game. I try and dish it out as much as I can. And uh, for the most part, I'm pretty even keel. Um, it's just how I am, I guess. I don't like to get too high or too low because, you know, I just I like to be the rock back there. <laughs> good, good stuff. Good question. <laughs> and I want to throw this one out to Taylor because uh, – this came up it, during our, the autograph session d- between uh, segments here, but I thought it was a good one. Last night you made a spin move. You, you, we, we've, we've watched you play now for a few games. You always try to get the, the tendencies going on uh, between the different players. But, so you, you, you like to come in off the wing, power move to the net. Last night you showed the spin move, the spinorama. I don't remember, Kevin, you, you tell me, how many spin moves have we seen uh, really in the NHL? You know, it's, a, it's, a rare, it's a rare move. There's only a few guys that do it, but Taylor... Did it with a lot of confidence last night. It was a good play. When, when, it, when is it a good may, move to make the spin move? Is that something you've done a lot of? No, I don't do it too much. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that it was a forward back playing defense, so I thought I liked my chances a little better there versus a defenseman. And then uh, I saw Hornquist going in the net. So I could have got a shot off, but uh, I tried to feed it over to him. And It's not something I'm going to do every game, <laughs> but uh, when it comes up... Uh, once in a while. And I know Patrick Kane at the Patrick end of regulation. Kane, he, well, he, he does that. He's, he's got that move that he, he does all, all the time to his backhand. And uh, if you don't know what's coming, like I've played against him, so luckily I kind of I shade to that a lot. But it's, it's a good move. It's a quick move, and it, it kind of catches you off guard because um, you expect him to slow down when he does it, and he, do, and he, he doesn't slow down. So, uh, so that's the key to it being effective is that yeah. you don't slow down while yeah. you do it. Because a lot of times you get a guy to just make that quick, like, like, you're, like you're thinking he's pulling up, and uh, you'll dig in, and then he keeps on going. So it's, it's a difficult move to uh, defend against if, if you can pull it off that smoothly. I, I thought Pekka, when I know that was, I believe, at the end of regulation. Was, so that's, yeah. that's a huge play. He, he knows he can take a chance because it's, yeah. it's not like you guys are going to go the other way if it goes wrong. Pekka, I thought, anticipated it very, very well. Can you imagine? I mean, that, that's, that's a bring the house down kind of play if he makes it and he's a guy that's capable of making it yeah no he, he's done it before and he, he makes passes off the same move too so you, you definitely have to be careful uh guys like that and there's a few d-men in the league that do it coming up ice once in a while um it it's it's not easy you have to be uh smooth on the skates so Which taylor there you go there you go you're smooth baby <laughs> it looked pretty good to me kevin what did you where, yeah, how did you good. how did you grade uh, taylor beck spinorama last let's night? say eight and a half eight and a half <laughs> pretty good pretty good <laughs> all right all right let's take a break when we come back we'll get some more questions from the audience here we'll mix in a few questions of our own here and we even have a, a question uh, on the phones we'll get to garrett as well when we come back our predator player show our player show continues here from dave and busters it's presented by our friends at fifth third bank stay tuned we're coming back here on 1025 the game